uh, here we are, day two of hunting soybeans, and oh my gosh, the weather is wonderful. It's uh, 80, 85 degrees outside. Uh, this is just fabulous weather for Southern Maryland for the middle of October. Uh, I'm finishing up this uh, the second the second farm now. It was only about uh, 18 acres on this farm. Uh, I thought I was going to leave some tracks similar to what I did yesterday on the home farm, uh, but no, I surprisingly have not left any tracks. Uh, this farm can be a little wetter. Uh, I guess the land has just settled up uh, that much in 24 hours. And I've got biased rows here, so I'm into a triangle, and it just takes forever to uh, cut these short rows uh, the way they are. But hey, we're going to get this uh, finished up, get the truck loaded, uh, get the combine moved to the next farm, and keep on rolling here. While the weather's good, uh, I see my neighbor coming up the road now and his combine. I've seen another neighbor uh, moving their combine. So people are taking advantage of this weather and uh, getting these soybeans cut. They are really cutting good, nice and dry. Although the moisture is, is not that dry, I think they're running about the last I checked, 16%. I'm going to check this load uh, when I dump it in the truck and see if it's come down any. Because we are getting uh, a lot of dew overnight because of the uh, humidity that we've got in the air. Hey, we've got a load on that truck. Luckily, I'm only going about a half a mile over there to the farm so hopefully it won't run over That's all there is to it, to uh, hooking up the header. One chain here for the coupling. 
two hoses on this side and the wiring harness and then a pin under here to lock it in place to lock the combine to the header on the other side same thing it's a chain coupling and there's three hot hydraulic hoses and the pin to lock it in one man job five minutes and you're done so for those of you that have been uh, keeping up with my videos uh, you may recall the one um, where we were planting soybeans and I think it was called uh, the wet spot will suck you in every time well that is the field I am harvesting at the moment and this is about the spot that the tractor was stuck in uh, now we are making a few tracks in this field but uh, not too bad you may be able to see over there some tracks this particular field is probably the wettest field that I work. It's just, it's a fellow soils that just does not drain well. And with us being at sea level, it is, it is hard to drain these fields sometimes, but this is just the type of soil that does not dry out. Uh, but this year we did get the soybean crop planted. There are some years we don't get this field planted. It's only about eight acres. Uh, this year we did get it planted and uh, it's probably some of the best soybeans I've ever harvested off of this field. Uh, they're going to do probably about 50 bushels to the acre when, uh, when it's all said and done. But uh, hey, we are getting it out and moving right along here. Except for a few of the uh, a few of the mud holes. Uh, there's some tracks here. I just I just came through there. A few tracks, but uh, nothing that bad. Okay, we're gonna keep rocking and rolling here. Okay, I just, oh shit, the mosquitoes are out in force today. So I just realized I screwed up. I set the camera in the field and did some passes with the combine, um, but I had the camera pointed in the wrong direction. Uh, so you could not see the sunset happening. Just beyond that line of trees is the Potomac River. Uh, so you see the sun uh, setting down there uh, behind the trees. A beautiful sunset this evening. And I'm sorry, I should have had the camera facing the other direction so you could see that sunset too. See what I enjoy uh, most days around here. Um, wow, these mosquitoes are just horrible. So we've got one more good day, it looks like, uh, before the rain moves in. We've got a cold front moving in, uh, one day of rain. Um, don't know how much that's going to screw us up. Uh, 
This farm is a farm that I do want to plant wheat on. We want to no-till wheat in here, but um, right now this ground is a little sticky. I'm not leaving any tracks, uh, but it is a little heavy to be no-tilling some wheat in. But um, hopefully next week, uh, after this last bout of rain goes through, we'll have a, a, a week of good weather and we'll make this happen. So I've got a couple more passes to make um, to fill the truck, uh, but the way this dust is not moving, um, the air is starting to get still, the dew is going to start falling, beans are going to get tough, so uh, hopefully I can uh, finish filling the truck about another 15 minutes and I'll have enough to fill the truck. So That's what we've got going on today. Uh, tonight is the last presidential debate, so um, I will get home in time for that. Damn these mosquitoes. Um, I'm anxious to see what the drinking game is tonight, but you can best believe I will have my margarita in hand and we will be playing the drinking game with the presidential debate tonight. Okay, as always, see ya!